the pace of change is probably the biggest thing large financial institutions um, struggle with. Um, they continually face the pressures of seeing a lot of what's going on from the fintech space. Um, but as large organizations, they are continuing to try to evolve the way that they as a, um, a provider of a significant number of services um, can accelerate their innovation, can accelerate their transformation. And in that regard, from our perspective, there's a lot of that that is um, dependent on their ability to provide greater automation and orchestration of the underlying infrastructure. So we're starting to see a lot more organizations look at the capabilities of automating um, uh, the, uh, the network management function and the operations side of the business, something that uh, is typically called intent-based networking, and uh, to uh, essentially accelerate their ability to uh, allow the organization to be more agile from an application development perspective, from a partnership perspective with fintech firms, and um, you know, there's, uh, there's good momentum in that space currently. So um, it's an interesting time for them, but we think that they're, those organizations that are taking that fundamental view at their infrastructure are, are, are well on their way. So it seems like automation is a really important aspect. What all goes into that? I know yeah. data is, is very huge, but how do we get that automation into play? Yeah, it's a great question because these are large institutions, and so over the years, they've developed large complex networks to service their business. So the challenge is one in which uh, they need to get out of the business of doing what they used to do. So in the past, um, things like command line uh, execution of management functions has been a real uh, time-staking task. So to deploy automation, they need more intelligence out of the solutions they deploy. So the, the, the software-defined networking is generally the, the approach that's going, both from the data center side, software-defined data center, as well as software-defined campus and WAN. Um, so there's a transition in the products that support that. They need to essentially upgrade their infrastructure with products that have the intelligence to provide uh, the kind of visibility and, and uh, uh, manageability that they need. Um, and then they also need to look at their own um, capabilities inside. The talent inside the IT organizations needs transformation as well. And so there's an upgrade both on the operational side as well as on the infrastructure and technology side. 